So one final topic we quickly talk about is so-called the order disorder transformation. Order disorder transformation. This so-called ordering happens when there is preferred bonding. Preferred bonding between one item A and the other item of B. Actually, the best example of ordering would be sodium chloride, right? Every chlorine wants to be bound with what? Chlorine or sodium? In sodium chloride. Every chlorine wants to be bound with chlorine or sodium. Definitely the sodium, right? Every sodium wants to only bond with what? Chlorine, but not the other sodium. Make sense? So the per, the extreme example of so-called uh, ordered phase would be your typical ionic bonding material. Make sense? Preferred, you see, so the preferred bonding of A to the other atom, not to itself. Preferred over the bonding to the same atoms. Make sense? That's so-called ordering. So here I give two kind of schematic uh, micro representation. The one on the left, the one on the left, I have white region, I have black region in between. Okay. So this one is a little bit of so-called, uh, I have 50A, 50B. Now a little bit of disorder. I have region that black bonds to black. I have region white bonds to White, but I also have region between white and white and the black. Okay, the one on the right side, if you look at it, it's a little bit, we would call it partially ordered. What you find is less of what? Black, black, less of white, white, but more of what? White, black. That's preferred bonding, partially ordered. Okay. You see what I mean? This is kind of a, to illustrate. The extreme case would be what? A, B, A, B. Black, white, black, white. That would be the extreme case, right? Like a typical ionic crystal, okay? So in real system, one example is between this Cu for copper, Au for gold, okay? See? Now we are looking at the phase diagram. Above temperature, above high temperature liquid slime, we have liquid phase. In between, I have this so-called uh, continuous solid solution. Continuous from one end all the way to the other end. Single phase. Make sense? FCC. But then lower, now I have two types of so-called ordered phase. One is CuAU, copper gold. The other one is copper three gold. Copper gold, copper three gold. Now let's look at the so-called microstructure. This is the FCC structure. Everything in random structure, which means, okay, at any of these lattice side, I have the probability of finding it to be copper or to be gold. And every of these sides have equal probability. Make sense? And if I'm if I'm here, let's say if I'm here, I have 50% probability to find it to be copper. 50% if I'm, my composition is here, 50% probability to find it to be gold. But it's random, but also equal from this side to that side equal. But then these two are so called. Uh, ordered phase. Do you see in this case the black one is for copper but the copper only occupy well in this copper gold only occupy the top surface the bottom surface but the white one which is are for gold only occupy the middle plane. Make sense? Make sense? And then of course you can use your crystallography to analyze okay how many copper in this unit cell. Copper, okay. One corner I can count as how many? One eighth. So I have eight corner that gives me one. And then I have one top, one bottom. Each of these I can only count as what? Half. So two times half that gives me two, right? So within this unit cell, how many copper? Two copper. And then here, how many gold? 
Well, I list the four, but each of them I can only count as half. Four. So four times half is two. So you see the formula is copper to gold to. I'll just copper gold. Make sense? Now go to here. In this one, the other ordered phase, the copper, which is the black one, prefers only at the so-called uh, phase center, right? And then there are totally six phase center, but each one I can only count as half. Six times half, that gives me copper. Three. How many gold? I have eight, but each of the gold I can count as what? Corner? One ace. So eight times one ace gives me one gold. So three to one ratio. Make sense? So this is disordered. These are possibility of so-called ordered phase. Make sense? What it essentially means is if I have a composition 50 copper, 50 gold, if I at uh, 600 degrees C, it should be what? Ordered or disordered? 600, ordered or disordered? 600 here, single solid solution, random, that's completely disordered. But then when I cool to lower temperature, now it become what? Ordered. Copper gold. Order like what? Like this. Okay. And then the other one is similar. If I have this 75% uh, gold, 25%, sorry, 75% copper, 25% gold. If I'm 600, I'm completely disordered. But when I cool to below this 400 each temperature and the equilibrium, that thing become ordered. Make sense? So these type of phase transformation, people call it the order, disorder phase transformation. And uh, they occur with the same composition, no long range diffusion. Make sense? Going from here to here, no, I don't need long range diffusion. And then it can be so-called second order or, or first order, but the first order is more common. Okay. And I can also go through nucleation growth cycle. The rate of transformation depending on many factors, which are complicated, we would not.